What is up guys, it is Epsilon Gaming here with your second How Do You Code a Minecraft plugin tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to code a MOTD plugin, which is basically when a player joins, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to teach you guys how to send a message to them. Also, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to register events and listen to when a player does something. So let's get started. Let's make a new Java project drop this down Java project and let's name it MOTD then hit next which I didn't tell you in the first video but it's easier than going back libraries add external jars and import your spigot or whatever you downloaded from the first video once you get here we're going to open the SRC and make a new package this is all the same as before and then name it MOTD and that is that then inside of the package we are going to make a new class which is going to be called just name it MOTD now it's basically all the same as the first video but I'll give a little quick recap on how to do it so let's type public void on enable open close open parenthesis so this is when the server starts it'll say this and then let's make it bucket bucket dot get logger dot oh my bad bucket dot get server dot get logger dot info and let's just say MOTD is work enabled And then we're going to need to do the disabled. You don't actually need to do this, but I just find it helpful if you're looking through console, looking for errors or anything. Just copy this from up here and paste that. MOTD is disabled. Now that we have that, we're ready to start listening for events. So what we're going to do is type at event handler. Now this is saying an event is coming up. And let's import that, which we could do that in a little bit. So now, we're going to ma actually make the event. So it's going to be public void then let's say on player join. This is just whatever you want to call the event, that really does not matter. And then let's open a parenthesis and type player capital P join capital J event capital E now this is actually the actual event so whatever event you want to register will go here and then just type E here to call the event and then open a bracket and hit enter now let's import that and import event handler so now whenever a player joins the server whatever happens will be here so when he joins, let's make it send a message. So let's get the player, player P equals then E, which is the event, which is the event E dot get player. And that is all from here. Now we have the player. Import that. Now we can do to whatever we want to do to the player P right here. So let's send him a message. P dot send message. Let's just make it chat color dot aqua plus you have joined the server and exclamation point and close the line. So now when a player joins, it'll say P dot it'll send him a message. You have joined the server. Let's also p dot. Let's set his health to full. Set health twenty, and twenty is full health. Now that is all in the event handler. You can also have if statements in here, like if player name is whatever, if player has permission, so and so. 
I am not going to be teaching you guys how to do the hover chat, which is on my server yet. I'm going to wait until we have high subs to release how to do that, since it's not a very common thing to do. So if you guys would want to see that, please like, comment, subscribe. Once we get high subscribers, probably around 200, I'll be releasing how to make hover chat in anything you do. Now, we're done with the actual event here, but we're going to have to register the event now. So what we got to type is on enable, we're registering the event, so bucket dot get server dot get plugin manager dot register events and then arg0 and arg1, it's just going to be this comma this. Now that's saying that there's an event in this class and why is that calling an error? Shouldn't be calling an error. That's because I forgot to extend Java plugin. And I forgot, also I forgot to say, when you first make the class, you always have to extend Java plugin. And since there is a event handler, there's going to be a listener. So we are going to type implements a listener. Now that's saying that this plugin will this class has a event and it'll be listened to. So import all that and that works now. Now what we have to do is the simple plugin YML from before. So go back to your SRC new file plugin.yml now let's type name version main author description now name of the plugin, let's just name it MOTD version is 1.0 the main would be mejpriani 13motdmotd since there's a package named that and MOTD is my main class author would be you, whatever your name is and description will be a MOTD and that is all. So let's export that to the desktop and see if it works. Let's name it MOTD and finish and save. It should be working. So let's go MOTD and YouTube server. And where is my console, which is right here, reload it. So MOTD is enabled, let's join, and I am back, so let's join the server. I have joined, and you have joined the server, and there we go. Now let's test to see if it'll set your health to full, so let's take a little damage here. Alright, I don't have op, so let's just jump off of something. And now I don't have full health, let's leave. Join back, and I have full health. And that is all, guys. If you liked the video, want to see more, want to learn more, please like, comment, subscribe, and goodbye.